Residents from Maple Creek and surrounding area can breathe a little easier this week now that the results of a flood report have been released. Massive precipitation in late spring of 2010 not only affected southwest residents, but also caused problems in transportation across the country as crews worked all summer to repair the Trans-Canada Highway right outside the town. The recommendations from the report are very clear. Really the only practical work that could be done for the town of Maple Creek in particular is to uh, dike along between the town and the creek in order to prevent future floods from backing into the built-up part of the town. And this is good news for the town of Maple Creek as they were hoping the recommendation would include building a dike for the town. The municipality will be responsible for the initial cost but we'll see the project through. We will build a dike. I mean they're recommending quite a long one right out to the bottom of the hill out here uh, to the south, uh, you know, which would be a kilometer or a little bit better probably. That would definitely ensure that we're not going to get any water in town. At this point, they still haven't designed the project and the costs are still unknown. The town can apply for provincial funding to help to recover some of this money. But considering that the cost to repair the number one highway is topping $10 million alone, the price tag to prevent other disasters seems well worth it. What we would normally build for a community is a 1 in 500 year flood dike, which would keep virtually every flood that could occur out except for the really extreme ones. The report also takes an in-depth look into why the flood occurred in the first place, stating that wet weather through April and May combined with over 100 millimeters of rain on June 18th and 19th created the record flooding. And the chances of seeing flooding like that anytime soon is unlikely. The town still isn't ruling out their chances. Who's saying that we're not going to get another 10 inches of rain in June? I mean, we don't know that, and if we do get it, we would have another flood. All the other conditions are identical to what they were pre-flood last year, uh, before the rain, because the ground is saturated, the creeks are running, they haven't stopped yet. The report also pointed out a few hazardous zones within the town which are more likely to flood than others. Maple Creek will hold a few open houses to discuss building the dike with residents. They hope to start the project and have it partially put into place to help prevent spring flooding this year. For Southwest TV News, I'm Kara Rapke.